Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Freak Show 972. Today we're doing another vlog. Um, as you guys can see by the title, we are ranking the Quentin Tarantino movies from worst to best. And I have every single one of them right behind me. So we can I can show you the covers and everything. And so let's get into it. So I have a couple like double feature, triple feature ones, so you'll see more than one movie on the case, but I'll pull it back up and everything when we get into it. I just want everyone to know Quentin Tarantino is my favorite director and writer of all time besides Kevin Smith, just so all of you know. So let's get into this. Gotta grab my list. Number 10 is Jackie Brown. Right there, Jackie Brown. It's my least favorite. Uh, I honestly kind of don't even really remember this movie. I know it's like a heist thing. Samuel L. Jackson's in it. Robert De Niro. It's based off a book. It's just personally to me, it's it's boring. It's just super, super boring. Next, we got Death Proof. Um, it's got Kurt Russell in it. Quentin Tarantino's in it. Eli Roth's in it. Um, she's just about a dude in a car running over girls, killing them in his car, in his car, and crashing his car, and it's not bad, it's not bad, it's a grindhouse picture, it's pretty gory, but it's not bad. Next, the one film I was hoping that was going to have a lot of potential, and it kind of failed, and I'm a little upset about it, but the last, like, 15 minutes of the movie is the best part of the movie, like, honestly, the last 15 minutes of the movie is worth watching the two and a half hours worth, and Quentin Tarantino said that there's going to be an extended cut version of this where it's four hours long, and I'm really interested in watching it. It's also based off the Charles Manson murders, so if you guys know what that is, you already know what movie I'm talking about, but that is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. This movie, this movie had a lot of potential, and it fell flat on its face. Personally, I don't even know how it got nominated for a bunch of awards other than it's a Quentin Tarantino film. Like, that. that's about it. Next, we have is Reservoir Dogs. Right there. Quentin Tarantino's first film. I thoroughly enjoy this film. I like the idea of them all turning against each other, trying to figure out who the cop is. And this is like... I, I just like the idea. So, that is where that is at. Next, we have Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Technically, in Quentin Tarantino's mind, 1 and 2 are as one movie, but it was too long to make into one movie, so that's why there's two different parts. But, yeah. Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Um, those were the first Quentin Tarantino movies I ever saw. Still a huge fan of them. I could put them in and watch them any day of like, the week or anything. like. Just relax if I want to watch a good movie or not. So there's that. Next is one that I actually just bought today. Uh, it's a good movie. I've been wanting to buy it, but I just bought it today. And that's Inglorious Bastards. Uh, I, like, I think it's one third of the movies in German and or, and or French, and they just sit there and talk in a different language, but it's got some good actors, Brad Pitt, Eli Roth, Michael Fassbender, freaking Christopher Waltz, it's, it's a really good movie, I recommend it, and they go and fuck up a bunch of Nazis, like, that's crazy to me, like, it's cool. Okay, these next two films are kind of crazy to me that they're in the top three, because I'm not a huge Westerner movie fan, but these two movies are really good. And the third one, number three, is Django Unchained. I've owned this movie for a long, long time. This movie, the first time I watched it, I was just mind blown. Like, absolutely mind blown. I was like, I have to own every single one of this dude's movies. I have to keep watching it and just keep watching. And then when I found out the next one, which is actually number two was The Hateful Eight. When I found out that this movie was coming out and I saw the trailer for it, this is another one with Samuel L. Jackson and Michael Madston and Kurt Russell and Tim Roth, I had to buy it and I did. I went out and bought it like the day it came out. This movie is so good and it's his eighth film that he's made and um, yeah, and it's in my number two spot. And number one, which is usually everyone's number one pick, and if you, like, if you already haven't already figured it out, it's Pulp Fiction. This movie is the best movie Quentin Tarantino's ever made. It's got the best actors in it. It's got John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman, 
Tim Roth, freaking Christopher Walken, Bruce Willis. Like, it's just so damn good. The story's so damn good. I like how he jumps around. It's just a very good, interesting story. So, those are the Quentin Tarantino movies ranked from worst to best, in my opinion. Just remember, this is my opinion. Uh, very biased. So, uh, let me know what yours is down in the bottom if you like Quentin Tarantino. But also, I'm going to throw in some honorable mentions because these are movies that he's written. But he didn't write and direct and it's not part of his nine movies. Uh, we got From Dust Till Dawn, Natural Born Killers, and True Romance. Um, probably go Natural Born Killers, then From Dust Till Dawn, then True Romance from like best to worst. So, But yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Um, I'm, you guys are killing it on the views. I'm enjoying them. Keep watching. Thank you. That is my Nightmare on Elm Street shirt. Um, we're going to be doing some ranking list over on Running in the Woods and some reviews. So if you haven't gone, go over there and subscribe. Subscribe here if you're brand new. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream or vlog. Goodbye.